It's high noon. Draw! Oh yeah? Listen up. That should do it for now. All right. Hey. Looks like we made a great miscalculation, inmate. Contrary to our assumptions, it seems you have turned out to be quite promising. Your powers continue to grow, as do the relationships you hold with your contractors. It seems the rehabilitation is proceeding at a fine rate. <laughs> Allow me to warn you on one matter. Being at the peak may mean you are mere moments from your downfall. Unexpected situations are necessary in a game, after all. <laughs> Dream again. What the hell? I'm human. I have to be. I... There's no way I was born like that. I won't let myself get worked up over some dream. I'm sure everything will be clear if we can get to the depths of Mementos. Wanna get going? Ah, oh, this is a perfect way to refill after some training. By the way, the track team's up and running again. Yamauchi got taken down pretty quick. You know Takeishi's mom is the PTA press, right? He told her everything. After that, she came storming in with the other parents and forbid the whole scouting plan. Oh, wish I could have seen the look on Yamauchi's face. <laughs> I mean, the school can't ignore the PTA. And as a result, the track team's back. Our old coach is filling in for now. Man, it serves that dick right. <laughs> what a great feeling. I think they might even go far in the meet. Hell yeah! Oh crap, the ramen's gonna get soggy. Let's eat! Woo! <laughs> that was awesome. To tell the truth, I was scared of facing those guys straight up. I, I couldn't stand how much they hated me. It only just made me think of how stupid I was. Most of all, it made me remember how I lost my place with him. Hey, this ain't like me, but I managed to change because you were here helping me. I got you all wrapped up in this shit, but you stayed with me till the bitter end. You didn't abandon me, so thanks, man. <laughs> it's funny, huh? This started out as us training for the Phantom Thieves. <laughs> How'd it end up like this? Either way, it's my turn now. If anything comes up, you tell me. I'll help you with whatever you need. I am thou. 
Thou art I. Thou hast turned a vow into a blood oath. Thy bond shall become the wings of rebellion and break the yoke of thy heart. Thou hast awakened to the ultimate secret of the chariot, granting thee infinite power. my chest let's do this first up the phantom thieves I'll be counting on you leader and you can count on me too hey now that we're all fueled up want to race to the station A student asked me for some advice as I was leaving. That's actually been happening a lot lately. I wonder if they see me in a new light now. I need to work hard so I can make up for all the times I let my students down in the past. Apparently they like that I'm not too serious. I guess my laid-back personality is coming in useful. So, um... Now, this is coming from me as your teacher. An awful thought occurred to me the more I spent time with you. And I can no longer overlook such a grave danger. You... are way too lax when it comes to your diet. You need to be more serious about your nutrition. And the state of your room! You need to stop slacking. I mean, look at how dusty this place is. I put up with the mess because you are my client, but you need to thoroughly clean in here. That's what I wanted to hear. There are just some things you have to prioritize over your studies, you know? Oh yeah, there's one more thing. You're a member of the Phantom Thieves, right? That whole thing with Takase-kun's guardians worked out way too good for me. And you're the only one who knew about my situation. I haven't lived this long without learning a thing or two, you know. Don't worry, I have no intention of telling anyone. There are a lot of stories about the Phantom Thieves, but in the end, they help people like me, right? That's so you. I just thought you were a problem child with a criminal record, but now I know better. I'll support you 100%. You're not just a student to me. You're someone special who helped me realize my path as a teacher. A new path where I'll never abandon any of my students. Right? For my students and for you. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast turned a vow into a blood oath. 
Thy bond shall become the wings of rebellion and break the yoke of thy heart. Thou hast awakened the ultimate secret of temperance, granting thee infinite power. Let's get into it. 50 terms, go! I don't want you to flunk your exams. I'm going to go the distance with you.
Back when I met Shiho, when she saved me, I realized that personal relationships are something to be treasured. That's why I'm not going to run away anymore. I'll face myself head on. This time, it's my turn to help someone. But I'm still kind of worried. Do you think you could help me? Mm -hmm. You can lean on me too, if you need it. Good. I feel like we finally see each other eye to eye. I'm so glad I met you. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast turned a vow into a blood oath. Thy bond shall become the wings of rebellion and break the yoke of thy heart. Thou hast awakened the ultimate secret of the lovers, granting thee infinite power. All right. All right.
growing within me. All right. That doesn't mean I'm gonna stop counting on you. After all, you're an eternal member of my fan club. It means forever. Got it? Anyway, let's eat before our food gets cold. Time to dig in! What? Excuse me, but could you please repeat that? Now, nothing's been decided as of yet. But at the rate that things are going, Yoshizawa-san's honor status could possibly be revoked. Something so serious should, of course, be brought to the attention of both her parents and yourself. I've been told that her results at the latest meet were quite laudable. Isn't revoking her status as an honor student a bit of an overreaction on the school's part? I understand how you feel, but, well, third place doesn't really cut it in this case. She needs to attain first place results for her exceptional status to be worthwhile. Don't get me wrong here. Uh, personally, I think her results are impressive, but... I suppose the argument could be made that if she's going to represent Shujin and receive special treatment, it's not enough. Please don't shoot the messenger here, okay? Uh, this is necessary to guarantee fairness across the entire student body. It's not as if you've been expelled or the like. Uh, another meet's coming soon. Please try for the results the school wants to see. Sir. Putting excessive expectations on Yoshizawa-san will only be to her detriment. Oh, that wasn't at all my intention. I just wanted to give her a little encouragement. Dr. Maruki, please continue serving the student body as counselor and providing support to Yoshizawa-san. This meeting was merely meant to express how the entire faculty will be supporting her. That's the reason I had you sit in today, Dr. Maruki. Supporting her. I see. At any rate, that's all I wanted to discuss with you today. Please keep in mind, these changes are all hypothetical, uh, unless Yoshizawa-san doesn't provide better results. <laughs> well, uh, I suppose we should wrap up here. Uh, excuse me. What's wrong with Yoshizawa? Didn't she seem off to you? Oh, it's... Yoshizawa must have dropped it. Shoot, she's gone. Let's return it after school. We should at least send her a text so she knows where it is. Hmm. Maybe I left it in here. Huh? How did Yoshizawa-san handle the news? She seemed pretty downcast. I think it was quite the shock to her. I truly hope this is what finally drives her to succeed. She needs to push herself beyond third place and bring home some stronger results. 
and soon. Vice Principal, I know I've already told you this, but your approach here is going to affect her adversely. Trying to motivate her with harsh words is only going to give her more anxiety. Uh, Dr. Maruki, we aren't running a charity. If she's going to receive special treatment, she needs to provide adequate results. Praising her until her head swells may be your idea of therapy, but we can't afford to just butter her up forever. We took in those sisters to improve Shujin's standing, but at this rate, we're only going to end up suffering for it. Not only have we lost one of them, but the other one's not doing us any good. <laughs> Talk about a waste of effort. <sighs> Sir. So, uh, pardon me. But there's no denying. First with Mr. Kamishida, now the principal's death. We've got our backs to the wall here. Huh. If this school doesn't bounce back soon, even my own ass will be on the line. That'll be all. Excuse me. She's at the stadium? Senpai, sorry, I can't hear you. I guess her signal cut out. I couldn't hear everything, but it seems like she's at the stadium. She seemed to be acting unusually this morning, too. Do you think something happened? Me too. When we met her there last time, she did mention that she goes there when she's depressed. Well, let's see how she's doing when we drop off her good luck charm. To Odaiba, right? <sighs> no connection. We should have gotten this thing replaced already. I'm so useless. I do nothing but cause trouble for Senpai. And even Dr. Maruki. I'm supposed to be THE Kasumi Yoshizawa. Come on, I wanna get a parfait. Yeah, yeah, just a sec. I'm looking up a spot right now. It's supposed to be somewhere around here. Ugh, you've gotten us totally lost. I don't recognize any of these places. What's that building even supposed to be, anyway? Uh, I think they're building some kind of convention center. Or was it a research lab? What's it matter, anyway? <sighs> it's not a lab. It's a stadium. Beginning navigation. Hey, is that? atmosphere. Is this a palace? But we never activated the nav. Wait, do you think it was Yoshizawa? It's a possibility. She wasn't anywhere near us when we slipped into this palace. She can't fight like we do. We have to find her, fast.
Is that Yoshizawa? Yeah. Stay on guard, though. Why? How are you here? Who's that? Is she a cognitive being? I... It's my fault. What? Come on! You must... Kasumi... Stop! Stop it! Yoshizawa's in trouble! Heresy! You dare to spurn our Lord's mercy! <laughs> Are you alright, Yoshizawa? That voice... Senpai? <laughs> Looks like that thing's ready to rumble. Accept yourself. Our Lord laments the foolishness birthed from your pain. What are you talking about? I heard the school moved her exam period. It must be nice getting get perks like that. Where are these voices? Her whole I'm not bothered routine really pisses me off sometimes. Getting special treatment is like, like whatever if it's deserved. But do you think she earned it? That's... I understand how you feel, but well, third place doesn't really cut it in this case. She needs to attain first place results for her exceptional status to be worthy. Not only have we lost one of them, but the other one's not doing us any good. <laughs> Talk about a waste of effort. I've had enough of this. Yoshizawa? You're telling me I'm not cutting it? As if I don't know that better than anyone! Still, I don't care what anyone says about me. I will not tolerate anyone speaking ill of our dream! <laughs> it's all in your best interest. <sighs> Filling my life with this pressure? Demanding the results that you want? Yoshizawa? Could she be? And now you're all branding me a failure? Let me remind you who you're talking to. I am... I am... Kasumi Yoshizawa! So adamant. <coughs> Rather than accept away from cinders, you strive towards splendor. You know the risk. Huh. If those really are the shoes you've chosen, then we'll dance to the end. This has got to be... This contract, the spell cast upon you. I request we have a rematch. This time, I'm going all in with Sandrion! We'll show you the way to do this. Nothing too reckless, okay? Thank you. Please do. Let's dance!
Dino. Are you all right? I can't be weak anymore. Whoa, I'm quite impressed, considering how you just awakened to your persona and all. Senpai, right? I knew it. By the way... Why are we dressed like this now? Well, of course. This has to be awfully confusing for her. Looks like they found us. Time to get out of here, quick. We can explain later. Right. We're back at... Huh? My clothes changed back to normal, too. This was your location before you entered the Metaverse. We all just came back. Came back? Did we go somewhere? Uh, about that. Please, tell me anything you might know about what's going on. I need to know what just happened to me. I know how you feel, but what should we do? Yeah, you're right. Okay, I'll tell you everything from the beginning. Thank you. A metaverse with palaces and personas. I'm sure it's not easy to wrap your head around all of this in one go. Normally I wouldn't believe any of that, but after seeing it all for myself... But wow, you're so good at explaining things, Mr. Kitty. I'll let that last part slide this time. But isn't there something else that should be surprising you? Huh? A cat's talking? It took you long enough. And I am not a cat! I am Morgana. I see. Well, since you seem to know a lot more about this than I do, maybe I should call you Morgana-senpai. Oh, that's right. Don't you have something for her? You came all this way to return this? Thank you so much. You didn't seem your usual self this morning. Did something happen? Well... I didn't get a chance to tell you yet, but... I got third place in the last meet. Of course I'm not happy about it, but it looks like the school is even more displeased. I was summoned to the guidance office this morning. I was warned that the school might revoke my honors status if I don't improve my results soon. It would be due to my own inability to succeed in gymnastics, so... I have to say it's not an unfair consequence, but... I also overheard the vice principal talking about how I'm a useless waste of effort. And I dragged Dr. Maruki into this mess too, since he was with me when I got the news. That's what really got to me. That's a tough break. So, I ended up coming here, and then all of a sudden, I was in that place we just left. But I'll be just fine now. I feel like whatever happened in there helped me to get over it. I'm going to realize my dream for sure! Seems like you really are on the up and up now. But then again, how did Yoshizawa end up finding a palace in the first place? It sounds like it was pure coincidence based on what she's told us. What about my phone? Well, I suppose that makes the most sense. Hey, do you mind if we take a quick look at your phone? If the nav's on there, we'd be able to tell whose palace that was with the search history. Sure, it's right. Sorry, this won't do any good. Why's that? The battery's dead. It's been acting up for a while now, so that could have something to do with it. Oh, really? Shouldn't you get that checked out? Well, it's not like that was a palace we've been after, so I guess it's no big deal. 
We couldn't make its ruler our target unless we reached a unanimous decision anyway. Okay, I've been meaning to ask. Are you two part of the Phantom Thieves? Um, well, uh, we're... You are, aren't you? I knew it. Wait, that means when we were at the cafe with the Kechi-san, I basically told the Phantom Thieves themselves that I don't agree with what they're doing. Ah, <sighs> I'm really sorry. Don't worry about it. With that out of the way, what's your call? That's right. Considering how she did back there, don't you think she'd make a worthy addition to the Phantom Thieves? So, you mean you want me to join the Phantom Thieves? In a nutshell, yeah. You've awakened to your persona, you're aware of the existence of palaces, and from the looks of things, you've got quite the potential. If you're willing to join us, we'd be glad to have you. I see. Hmm. You don't have to give us an answer right now. I mean, you probably shouldn't make any decisions until you learn more about what it is we're actually doing. Thank you, but... I'm sorry. I have to turn down your offer. Cool. So we'll head home for now and... Wait. What? When I awakened to my... Uh, persona, was it? I also realized something. I can't keep obsessing over my shortcomings in gymnastics like this. So, that's why I can't join you at the moment. Because you need to focus on your gymnastics. I'm truly sorry to say no after all you've done for me. Thank you, but I think I'd only cause you all more trouble if I were to join up without being totally invested in it. Of course, I won't say a word about this to anyone. I'm glad you catch on so quickly. Well, if you ever change your mind about us, just let us know, okay? Thank you, Morgana-senpai. If that ever happens, I'll get in touch right away. Yes. I should extend the same gratitude to you as well, senpai. I swear, one day I will repay you for helping me out in so many ways. Shall we get going? Quite a lot's happened today, but I have a feeling I'll try harder than ever before, starting tomorrow. I'm glad to hear it. Well, see you later. Hmm. I mean... Hey. Let's go to bed. Well then. Where have you been? Regarding my father, there isn't anything different about him yet. I can't help but think about a lot of things when I'm just waiting. Things like, did it go well? Thanks. Hearing that from you puts my mind at ease. <laughs> I guess I'll relax and look after the flower bed, 
I haven't been able to for a while. about Wakaba on the anniversary of her death, but it's been a while since I visited. I've been so busy with the shop and all. No, no, that's not it. The guilt is what kept me from coming. I thought Wakaba would be angry with me. But now that I managed to get Futaba over here, I can finally meet her with my head held high. <laughs> I sure kept her waiting. But it felt good to tell her about how much Futaba's improved lately. Oh, I told her about you, too. Idiot. I should be the one thanking you. This is the first time the four of us are all together. So, Jiro, what are you smirking for? Uh, this is what my real smile looks like. I approve. Oh, I have some news. The family court gave me a call the other day. Futaba's uncle decided to retract his report. It's like he had one of those change of heart things I keep hearing about. <laughs> nah, that couldn't be. <laughs> I wonder if the day will come that she goes out to be someone's bride. I'm sure she'll make a fine lady either way. After all, she is Wakaba's daughter. Do all fathers have to go through this anxiety? You know, I really just wanted to have you help out at the store. But you showed me so much more. You showed me I have a family I need to protect. Not just Futaba. But you, too. I may not always be reliable. But feel free to come to me if anything happens. I'll be there for you. As family. And, uh, uh, I know. I'll teach you everything I can. You're a full-fledged man now. That might not be enough to return the favor. But it's all I can do. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast turned a vow into a blood oath. Thy bond shall become the wings of rebellion and break the yoke of thy heart. Thou hast awakened to the ultimate secret of the Hierophant, granting thee infinite power. All right. All right. Oh, and, uh, could you not, uh, you know, get with Futaba? I can't imagine you calling me father. Although, maybe it wouldn't be so bad. What are you two talking about? Nothing. I hunger! Curry time! Yeah, yeah. Let's go home. You're back. shutdowns it has to be someone dangerous now that we're getting closer to the truth we need to be ready for absolutely anything I should write something Hide in both face and mind. 